Hello and welcome to my latest rescue video, this time about Mary. She's a dog I rescued a little while ago. I hope you enjoy seeing her story. Good afternoon from Bali. I've come to see the newest uh, edition. I'd named her Mary and the story was that a guy had contacted Nenga and said that he's going to throw a dog away unless she takes the dog from him. So he kind of put her to ransom and there was nothing she could do about it. So Nenga asked for my help and of course I said yes, we'll be able to take her in and try and help this poor dog. We can't let the guy just throw her away. I think she's a small breed dog. Um, I've got no idea what, but uh, what I do know is she's a rescue, which is the best breed, of course. So, um, yeah, she'll stay here for a while. I will get her vaccinated and she's already been bath. She's already had uh, medication for her skin. So hopefully her skin will get better pretty soon. She was kind of scabby and uh, not very nice looking. She had a skin condition, she had scabies. So we just needed to make sure that we were treating her for that. Hi, Mary. Hi, sweetheart. Look at you. We gave her a medicated bath every week and she got better and better. You can see that her, uh, her skin underneath actually looks quite good. She's not as, not as scabby looking as you were before. When she came in, she had this massive belly. It was because it was full of worms. Thankfully, that's easily treated with a little bit of wormer. She's doing good, aren't you, Mary? She got her first vax the other day. Um, she's having weekly baths and she's she's doing pretty good aren't you? High five. <laughs> You're so friendly. You love to play. She's just a puppy, you know. Um, it's frustrating to think that people are very happy to throw puppies away and just babies. They don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, this guy saw that his dog had a skin condition and just wanted to throw her away. And I'm sure he'll probably purchase another um, small breed dog. So please never buy a dog, especially from a breeder. Um, there's enough dogs on the, in the world who need homes, who need to be adopted, who are rescue dogs just like you. To me, these dogs are all the same, whether they've got a skin condition or not. They're just an animal that wants to live a nice, comfortable life. Anyway, instead of dwelling on all of the bad stuff, let's focus on the good. And my mission here was to help Mary get better. Good afternoon from Bali. I don't know if anyone can see what's going on here. I'm here with Dave, who's quite interested. And Digit. And Mary. Hey, Mary. And Grace. There's, uh, there's a lot of animals in short, short distance. Are you okay in there? I'm gonna let you out and you can meet everyone, okay? I decided to bring Mary back to my house to continue her recovery. Um, so I should probably explain why Mary is here. Firstly, she's almost unrecognizable to the, to the little scabby pup from before. Um, you can still see her fur hasn't quite completely grown back but she's going to be a very pretty, pretty dog when she's a bit older. Hi! You a bit shy? You don't know what to do with that, that big old dog in the background? So Mary has already settled in a little bit at my house. And uh, yeah, you're enjoying life, aren't you? You're enjoying life. It was really nice having Mary at mine. She absolutely loved to play and was a really, really nice dog. She was changing so much, I don't think she even recognized herself in the mirror. Over the next few weeks, Mary got better and better. I was giving her a medicated wash every week to clear up the scabies, and she was really enjoying life. What is it that Mary wants here? Could it be? Sit, Mary. Sit, good girl. Is it a carrot? I love carrots. You eating your vegetables, Mary? Bye then. It was nice having Mary at mine, but I knew she needed to go to a new home sooner or later. Okay, so today is the day that Mary goes to her new home. So um, I had posted quite a lot on Facebook trying to find her a home, and unbelievably, 
nobody came forward. So I asked Nanga if she still had uh, somebody who was interested, and she said uh, she said yes. So we're going to check out the home now, and hopefully they'll love Mary, and she'll be able to live the rest of her days in a nice in a nice new home. They have doggy friends there as well. So off we went. So Mary is here, and we're getting her used to the place. But there's another dog in the <laughs> It's okay. She looks just like Mary. Ibumade and Ita here have uh, adopted Dawet first, and then now they're adopting Mary. So what a great ending. One year later, I returned to see how Mary was doing. <laughs> Mary, you forgot me, haven't you, Mary? <laughs> I was a bit sad she'd forgotten all about me, but really, I was absolutely delighted because here she was looking absolutely incredible and she was clearly enjoying her life and having a great time with her new adopters. It makes me really happy to know that I could do something to help this poor dog who was in such terrible condition, so much that somebody had decided she was just trash. I'm really glad that she's now got a new home, and I'm also very grateful to everybody who supports me on Patreon or monthly or through my vet bills. It's only thanks to you that we're able to do this. Final big thank you to Nenga for finding a home and Ibu Made for adopting Mary. Thank you very much for watching my video about Mary. I hope it brought you a big smile. I appreciate you watching. If you'd like to support any of the work I'm doing, feel free to have a look in the comments section. Also, liking, subscribing, and supporting the channel is really a huge help too. Until then, I'll see you for my next rescue video.